Hey Jeff here with Digital Trends to give you a quick look at the HTC Amaze for T-Mobile. This is the kind of the newest and hottest T-Mobile phone for the holidays. The, uh, the Amaze will run you 260 bucks with a two-year contract, which is almost as high as uh, some of the Verizon phones that are topping 300 bucks this year. Uh, surprisingly, AT&T has some of the lower prices for dual-core phones. So this, uh, as I just said, it is a dual-core device. It has a 1.5 gigahertz dual-core processor, which is just about the fastest we've seen. Full gigabyte of RAM, 16 gigs of internal memory. Um, so you're running a pretty cutting-edge device as far as power. It runs HTC Sense 3.0, which is a little bit old, but, but not too bad and runs on Android 2.3 which is about to be replaced but is currently the newest version of Android. HTC says that this will get Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich uh, pretty quickly before uh, too long in 2012. So if you upgrade now you should not be left out too much. This phone is definitely capable of running ice cream sandwich. So this is the task, uh, task notification bar here that you can pull down. Uh, HTC puts some things there. You can get to quick settings from there too, which is very helpful. Um, the traditional HTC widget there. We'll go into the apps. Everything is pretty standard. Uh, a lot of apps included. I haven't downloaded a whole lot on here. It's mostly mostly default apps, and a lot of them cannot be removed, unfortunately but there are some useful ones never hurts to have a good flashlight app as you can see that turns on the flash there and speaking of the flash we'll uh... well first let's take a look at the overall construction um, it's difficult to tell this is a plastic case here it's actually got a kind of a unibody not a unibody, but it, it's got like a shell, almost like a Darth Vader helmet here. Um, the sensation had a similar thing going. You can pull off the back plate here uh, to expose the battery. It's got room for an SD card, your SIM. Um, and the back plate comes right off. So all the buttons are actually right on there. It's pretty neat. When you slide it back in, it has a little snap on there and I'll try to focus as you can see it's got the screen actually comes off this is the first one I've seen like this that the shell doesn't go all the way so it's got kind of a edge of a screen here I'm not sure I I like that it's, it's a little uncomfortable it's a little kind of digs into your finger sometimes um, and it could potentially be bad for the screen itself if you were to drop it right right on an angle there but overall not not a terrible it's mostly just an odd design choice but it doesn't really harm the experience so uniquely it's it's got its this can do micro not micro HDMI but micro USB and it's also a custom uh, HTC port so they I guess it charges faster or they've got their own little custom adapter not really super fond of companies using their own custom charging solutions because that means that when you go to your buddy's house you can't use their charger you have to always have yours and lug your charger around um, so that's a bit of a shame but that's alright overall screen it's QHD very bright it's LCD so QHD is 960 by 540 pixels it's almost uh, getting up there the highest end phones we've seen are uh, 720p so that's a 1280 by 800 resolution so it's practically practically there um, screen is 4.3 inches you've got your audio jack power button good placement on the power button good placement on the and good size of the volume rocker didn't have any real difficulty getting to that even on a large device like this and uh, this is unique to the Amaze is it's not only does it have a camera button it also has a video recording button 
So we'll do the unlock here. And if you press video, it'll take you right into the video camcorder there. You're not going to see much um, here. But one of the most impressive features about this device is its camera. HTC has uh, its camera rivals the iPhone 4S, uh, in our opinion. We haven't done enough direct head-to-head -head tests between them to know, but its shutter speed is definitely up there. Uh, its focusing speed is is really good, and the overall picture quality, the how it does in low light and all that is awesome. It's good. It can do 1080p video, um, so this is one of the better phones to get if you want a decent camera in your device as well. Uh, other than that, it's like an 8 megapixel rear camera. It's got a front facing camera too. This will give you a good look at HTC's on screen keyboard there. Let's see if we can. Not as good as Windows Phone, maybe not quite as good as the iPhone, um, but good for Android. Not a terrible keyboard. We'll boot up the web really quick. So a lot of a lot of websites will pull up like that. Loads pretty fast on T-Mobile's 4G network. Trends.com. There we go. So we've noticed kind of erratic speeds though. Sometimes it'll go fast and then sometimes T-Mobile's network will just, we don't know where it goes uh, as far as 4G, 4G speeds. So this has loaded us in, in this in a lower setting, but it does load the images pretty fast. So overall that is a quick look at the HTC Amaze 4G.